welcome back to my channel. Um, there's so much happening right now <laughs> and I'm trying to get my life back together so that I can react to all these amazing songs, but that's difficult sometimes. Uh, I just had my best friend's wedding last weekend. Eee! Korean weddings are so interesting. If you want like a full rundown of like how they are and what makes them different from a Western wedding, let me know because they're so intriguing to me, <laughs> especially with how short they are. Yeah. Uh, let me know if you want a <laughs> rundown of that. But there's so many songs that have been coming out and I have had so much going on, especially I was sick for so long. And then um, just lots of things have happened. Guys, you know, being an adult sucks. Okay. Those of you, if you're younger, don't grow up too fast. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts because I feel like I don't ever have my life together, even though I keep trying. But alas, I'll keep trying. Uh, so there's quite a few songs that I want to react to today. Um, hopefully I don't like get jet lagged of reactions, but I want to start with um, Zero Base One. So you guys know that I've been following Zero Base One since uh, Boys Planet. So I keep pretty in, in contact with them. I don't always listen to their beat tracks just because um, I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, I barely listen to B-Tracks right now of all of my favorite groups, even though I want to, because <laughs> I'm just too busy. Um, that's just what it comes down to. Um, but I saw, I knew they released Sweat a couple of weeks ago, and so I purposely did not listen to that because I knew it was a pre-release, and then this was going to come out. So... Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with uh, Zero Base One's Sweat. I'm assuming this is gonna be, ooh, right away it's fun. <laughs> I'm assuming it's gonna be a summer comeback feeling, obviously. Ooh, we're starting with Ricky? Heck yeah! He looks great. Woo, phew, let's go. He loves it. I like the styling so far. Okay, Cuban. That's really, really pretty. All right. I really like Cuban's ad lip there. Oh yeah, get your center time. Ooh. Okay, Godu sounds so good. You, you think too? I feel like they've definitely improved. Um, Matthew Rude. I feel like this is the first time I've seen Hanbin. <laughs> I don't really like to mop. I'm like so distracted by everything. Ooh, I like that choreo. Ooh. I really like that dirty bass they have. Ooh, in the water, okay. Oh, Matthew sounds good. I already have it in my head. Get it, Shokhan. Pretty. There's so much Ricky in this. <laughs> and got him too. I love it. I like how they're using the lighting this. This is obviously filmed like at sunset. <laughs> I'm so distracted. <laughs> Everything that's happening. I'm like, I don't know what to pay attention to. 
Okay. I know the video is still going. Okay, yeah, it's, it's basically done. That was so fun. <laughs> the chorus, the... And the fact that we got so much Ricky and so much Konuk. I wish there would have been a little more Guven. I feel like I, I, I feel like I barely hear, hear, hear him, <laughs> but I just felt like that was, okay. So you guys know there, for those of you who've been watching me, their original debut, I was like, I thought it was good, but it wasn't amazing. And then their comeback, I didn't love. And then they released Crush and I was like, finally, the boys who I have been watching since Boy Planet are here. And then they just dropped this bop. Excuse me. Excuse me. Finally. Finally, all the potential that I knew was there has been dropped. I'm so happy. Uh, I feel like I saw Hanbin for like two seconds, <laughs> which was unexpected. Ricky deserved that intro. Yes. Loved it. Ganook deserved. Loved it. Um, I'd love to get some more Tere in there because I love his vocals. Matthew sounded so freaking good. Also, can we talk about how Eugen has improved so freaking much from Boy Planet? I'm shocked. I am shocked each time I hear him. <laughs> I'm like, you have gone from here to here. You have made a very big improvement. I am very proud of him. As someone who has watched Boy's Planet and saw all of them, um, I really hope they don't break up as a group. I just hope that they can convince their companies to keep them together. I just think that they should be together. Yeah. And why not? Just like keep them, keep them together. <sighs> I don't know if that can happen, but I think it should. Because I feel like they're just rising now. Their music is consistently getting better. I feel like they're gelling more as a team. I don't know. The choreo, the choreo for this was sick. The outfits were on point. Yeah, nothing. I have, I have nothing else to say. It was amazing. That dirty bass. Okay, I lied. <laughs> that that bass was so good. It was so good every time it came in. And then, like I said, the brum bum bum bum. Like this is gonna be in my head. It is. Let's just be honest. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go ahead to the next one. Before I get carried away too much, um, so I have no idea, no recollection of anything, any of this. It literally came out 53 minutes ago. Um, this is Feel the Pop by Zero Base One. Let's get started. I wonder how they're going to connect. Ooh. Oh, we're going Western themed? What? I'm so confused already. Ooh, Ricky's red hair. Okay, not how I was expecting this to start. Okay, what's gonna happen in the chorus? Let's go. I feel like do this. Why is their choreo always do the most? <laughs> they literally never get any time to rest, do they? Ooh, let's go, Garu. I'm happy with getting more human in this. Not enough, still. He's not even my bias, guys. <laughs> 
We even had to do the blue contacts. I don't know, this just makes me happy. <laughs> Ooh. I like this change up though. Oh, got it. That was pretty. Oh. That was a cute little interaction. Between Humbin and Shanghai. <laughs> I love bubblegum music so much. Guys, that was too cute. Okay, for those of you who know me, <laughs> bubblegum music is so much fun and anyone who says otherwise and doesn't like it can go away <laughs> like no offense but like you don't know what you're missing out sometimes there's no need to have something complicated and this was not complicated it was just cute and fun and they sounded great and it was a yes from me now, I would say that I like Sweat a little more, but I feel like Feel the Pop is going to grow on me. It's going to be one of those songs where it's just like an earworm, and it's going to get in there, and it's going to stay, and it's never going to leave. I like how they are not... Sometimes, you know, when you do like a pre-release, and then you do a release, um, I wonder like what they're going to sound like and how they're going to connect. And I like that these are like still kind of on the same like bubble pump up kind of way but I, but not so it makes it enough of a musical difference to where it's like oh okay I see like why you did this and this um yeah interested to see what they do I I, I kind of feel more like these are like a double title track than a pre-release and a re and like an MV release so I wonder like why they chose to do it this way I'm interested in hearing what you guys are um thought too like do you think one over the other like should have been the title track um over the pre-release um uh, sometimes and i've been noticing this a lot in k-pop recently they've been doing the pre-release i don't and this is not for zero base one this is just in general i don't know if i love it i feel like they want it to be like an anticipatory like oh get ready for the album kind of thing but I don't know if it necessarily works for K-pop. I'm not sure I love it. Um, sometimes I feel like it's a hit. Sometimes I feel like it's a miss. Um, uh, I I don't have really an opinion on it for, for, for this particular, um, these two tracks. I feel like it probably would have been fine if they would have been released at the same time um, or not. Um, it's really interesting because it kind of makes me think of back when originally when AT started doing their um, double title tracks and then they would and how they would promote with them. So I'm just curious of what the thought process is. If it's, you know, obviously it's to get you excited for the album and to get excited and want to buy the album. But are they really like are groups releasing their better song first rather than the title track being the best song? I'm not sure. I'm not saying that about Zero Base One. I'm just saying I'm curious about that in general because I don't know how I feel necessarily feel about um, the pre-release idea, especially for like a mini album, maybe for like a full length album. I could see that. And I didn't check to see if this is for a mini album or a full length album. Um, but just curious of what you guys think about that and um, what you feel. Do you like do you like this pre-release <laughs> stuff happening or not? Um, but tell me, what did you think of these two MVs? Which one was your favorite? What did you like about them? What did you hate about them? If you hated them, um, are you a fan of the bubblegum pop or not? Um, and just so you know, like bubblegum pop is kind of like 
it's a term that was coined back like kind of like in the 60s the 50s and 60s just to mean like what was a pro like what was appropriate for the radio like it was really poppy and like um kind of no nonsense like lyrics like it was just cute and it was very like radio friendly and um also like friendly for everyone that kind of thing so um that's kind of what I'm referring to and it, in that term, there's, there's more that I could go into it, but that's like what the bubblegum pop movement kind of is. And so it just means something like that. And so I really like it because I don't think that you always have to have a song with a deep meaning to it. <laughs> Anyways, tell me guys, uh, tell me what you guys thought before I get too carried away. Um, I'm going to go. So <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. See you on me. See you on me. And I alive.